I'm here with Dr. Beauvais to discuss the Tour de France study, and it's a great place to discuss it. We're here in Amsterdam, and there are folks biking around the city, so I think biking must be good for you, though it makes me a little nervous. They're not wearing helmets, but, but what did this Tour de France study show? Well, it, you know, this is an interesting uh, study because the, uh, the French investigators went back, again, to the health records of the French data uh, health system and looked at every participant from France in the Tour de France starting in 1947. Everyone was followed up to 2012, looking at their, uh, their incidence of various diseases and, and more mortality and morbidity. Uh, the conclusion was that, number one, there was a significant reduction in cardiovascular mortality and cancer mortality in the Tour de France participants, uh, a little bit higher accident mortality, but again, this is well known in the younger population. Right. And I think their conclusion was that this level of intense exercise, and this is very intense exercise. It's, oh, yeah. They say it's the equivalent of running three marathons a week for three weeks in a row and climbing Mount Everest uh, three times. Uh, did not shorten the life of these individuals, particularly did not increase their cardiovascular risk. Now, in the context of, uh, of our current uh, understanding of, of exercise, with some of the newer and more sensitive measures we have, there's some, there's some information that suggests that, that these high levels of exercise may be damaging the heart. Oh yeah, leading I, to troponin Well, uh, troponins, even, yeah. uh, some of the MRI findings, right. you know, the right heart data and echocardiography, uh, all these things are being interpreted as detrimental, but when you look at this, this sport, which is one of the most intense sports in the world, uh, the, the longevity of these athletes is, is better than the normal population, and um, the cardiovascular risk is lower. Uh, these are the kind of topics that we're talking about in our sports medicine symposium at, at uh, ACC because the, uh, of the newer data that's, that's generating a lot of controversy. Yeah, no, that's terrific that the ACC is doing that. So I guess the bottom line message really is get out there, get on a bike, and go for it, but wear a helmet.